if religion, if every religious book was destroyed, a hundred years from now, those books would be completely different. Right, but what's that got to do with the existence of God? It has to do more with the people who believe in God because they... Before the books, before the books came, there was still a creator. The Bible says in Psalm 14, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none who does good. When the Bible calls the atheist a fool, it's not saying that the atheist is mentally incapable of understanding that there's a creator. They're called a fool because the evidence of a creator is made abundantly clear by what we see all around us every day, and still they deny his existence. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness, because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Nobody can use the excuse on the day of judgment. I'm sorry, Lord, I, j I just didn't know you existed. I, I had no idea. There was no evidence. He's made it abundantly clear by what he has made so that we are without excuse. And so if God's existence is so clearly seen, why is it then that so many deny he exists? It's really quite simple. Without a God, there's no moral accountability. If I can deny God's existence, I don't have to think about being held accountable for my actions. And so unfortunately, because their position is not based on logic or reason, but only emotion, they're forced to commit intellectual suicide and ultimately are reduced to folly. And so I found a video from about six years ago where I interviewed a few atheists and thought, you know, why waste this footage when I can show the unreasonable position of the one who denies the existence of the creator? Do you believe in God's existence? I do not. Is there a creator, do you think? I don't know about a creator. Uh, I'm not sure. You're agnostic? Yeah. If you could be shown evidence, would you believe in a creator? Yeah, if someone could give me evidence, right, then I would believe what evidence showed me, yeah. Okay, you see that building behind us here? Yeah, the home and hardware. Yeah. yeah. Okay, prove to me that there was a builder of that building. Uh, I assume there's a builder. It exists. Why would you assume there's a builder? Because it exists. Okay. Because the building's there, right? So it's, it's not like a natural, like, formed building, right? right. You had to, like, structure the rocks. Right. Buildings don't make themselves. Yeah. You know, you're much more intricately made than a building. Well, yeah, we're... Buildings don't heal when they get cut. Well, yeah. You see that building over there? Yes. What is the evidence that there's a builder? That it was built. What's the evidence? Just any. What's the evidence that there's a builder? That the building is standing and... The building is, is self-evidence that there is a builder, right? Same as us, creation is self-evident that there's a there's a creator, would you say? I mean, you're more intricately made than a building. When you get cut, you heal. Buildings don't do that. There has to be an intelligent mind behind a creation. Are you a pretty smart guy? Yes. yes. Would you say he's a smart person? Yes, I would. Intelligent? Yes. Okay. Would you say that you're a smart person, Keegan? Uh, sure. sure. I don't know. What do you think? Is he a smart person? Yeah, I think I think he's pretty smart. Would you say intelligent? Yeah. Okay. I, I believe that. Okay. So, do you think that this world took intelligence to make? It had an intelligent mind behind it? An intelligent mind? So, like, a god? Yeah, an intelligent mind. No, no the world was not created by a mind you so it didn't have to have an intelligent mind behind it to be here no okay so you can you can argue that there is an intelligent mind behind it in the form of a god and that's what you clearly believe but other people would argue that you know through evolution and through just the universe being created that's how it was formed do you think let's say a rose took intelligence to make uh, no, I don't think so. It's just, it's a rose, it's a flower. Okay. It's colorful because 
bees like colors and insects like colors, and so. So, Finn, if it doesn't take intelligence to make make everything that we see, I want you to go ahead and whip me up a rose. Whip you up a rose? Make me a rose. I I don't get what you're trying to. Well, if it doesn't take intelligence to make a rose, you're a pretty smart guy. You should be able to make me a rose. I could grow you a rose. Well, then make me a seed out of nowhere, then. See it out of. See see a rose out of nowhere. Yeah. Just w- make me one. It doesn't take intelligence to make. No, but it takes a seed, and it takes growth. Okay. Give me the seed. Give me the growth. Do you want me to go buy you a seed? No, I want you to make me one, because it doesn't take intelligence to make. But. All right. I mean. What are you, what's your point here? Get to it. Well, my point is that we have scientists, we have scientific proof that there is a creator. If you're intelligent and it doesn't take intelligence to make a rose, why don't you go ahead and make me a rose? Well, I don't have the supplies to make a rose, right? Like, it doesn't, but it doesn't take intelligence to make a seed. And I want you to make the seed from nothing because it doesn't take intelligence to make a seed. Well, that's not connected, right? Well, why not? If it doesn't take intelligence to make a rose or a seed, then... You should be able to make me one because you're pretty intelligent. But that's like saying, like, it doesn't take an instrument to make music. So, like, that trash can doesn't have an instrument, so it should be able to sing to me, right? No, it, does, it does take an instrument to make music. That's what I'm saying. It, 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 it takes intelligence to make a rose, too. But why? A rose exists. That doesn't mean that someone made it. I assume there's a builder. It exists. Why would you assume there's a builder? Because it exists. Okay. Give me the scientific proof. That, that was the scientific proof. The reasonable explanation of how a book can't make itself, so DNA can't make itself, a rose can't make itself, it has to have intelligence to make. That's scientific. It's not scientific that nothing can come from, that something can come from nothing. That's not science at all. Would you agree? I. Would yeah. you agree that something can come from nothing? I mean, that's a question that we're debating right now. Well, no, that's not a question to me. Okay, but that's because you're believing in God, which I don't believe. I would say maybe it did come from God, but you can't tell me who built this building, right? Well, I don't have to do that, though. I, I know someone built the building. Well, you just have to tell me someone built the rose, right? That's what you're telling me. No, it should just be, it should be, it should just be axiomatic, which means it's self-evident that someone made the rose, just like the building is axiomatic. It's self-evident that there's a builder, wouldn't you say? Yes, because a building is built, but a rose is grown. So I think we're just saying the same thing in a circle, right? No, I'm saying that a, that a, a rose had to take intelligence to make, therefore it had to have a creator. Same like this building had to have intelligence to make, it had a builder. Then I guess we disagree on that. Do you agree on that? I don't think a rose needs intelligence to make. Well, make me a rose, man, that's my point. But that's not connected at all to the argument. But it is, man. If religion, if every religious book was destroyed, a hundred years from now, those books would be completely different. Right, but what's that got to do with the existence of God? It has to do more with the people who believe in God because they put before the books before the books came, there was still a creator. I just think it's one just one of life's mysteries that. Well, it's not mis- it's not mysterious at all. We can look at creation and see that there's a God, same as we can look at a painting and know that there's a painter. Yeah, but I think. <sighs> We don't have to. We don't have to see the paint the painter to know that there was a painter after we've seen a painting. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, definitely. Someone have had to have created it. No. Do you agree with that? No, because look at that tree. Yeah. Someone didn't make that tree. That tree grew on its own. Right. It brought forth after its own kind. The first tree that God made. It brought forth after that the seed. Okay. What's Does that make sense? Point. What's your point? Right. That it has to have a creator. That's my point. I. Mm... I don't think that's completely correct. I think that things can be made accidentally. Like a tree accidentally? Yeah, I think you can make a tree accidentally. Well, I hope this video has been encouraging, edifying, helpful in some way. And I also hope that you will join me in prayer for these fellow image bearers of God, that they would escape the snare of the enemy and come to the knowledge of the truth that they might be saved. Now, there's something to be said also to those who do believe that there's a creator. Uh, There's a warning that we need to take heed to from the scriptures, specifically in James' epistle.
It says in James chapter 2, verse 19, You believe there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. So the take home here from this passage that we should be extracting is that James is telling us that the demons believe that there is a creator, but they're still doomed to destruction. So what is it that will make or break our future? Something that the demons don't do. Obey God. And so it should be our heart's desire to look into the Father's commandments to obey his Son, who told us to love our neighbor and to love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And all the law and the prophets hang on these two things. So we are to do what he said, to look into the law and the prophets and to see how we're to love God and love our neighbor. This is what will show that we want to live in the kingdom of God when it comes to earth. And this is, this is the practice, this is the behavior that will be exemplified in the kingdom of God. And so believing that he exists is self-evident. It won't save you, okay? But believing in his son will save you. And what comes after believing in his son is works that accompany salvation, which is obey, o- obedience to his commandments. And so I don't want to hear the Messiah on that day say to you, depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. I, I, I dread hearing him say that to some people. So I hope this has been edifying to you and stay tuned for more videos. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you soon. God bless.